in terms of your shoot, once you reach a location and you started shooting, uh, how did you keep tab of time? And uh, was your planning as per the time that you thought that you would finish? Yeah, we I booked the location for from between ten thirty to four, and we this got a little delayed, like when like twenty thirty minutes past the shoot. I think it's mainly because we focused on the focus more on the the first couple, the other mm. couple. Mm. So oh, I was, I was telling my actually. I was I was, was I was I was wondering <laughs> why you started the shoot with the extras. <coughs> No, so we, wanted, extra, yeah, right? we wanted to go with the sequence because then there will be a lot of confusion. So I decided to shoot it in the sequence like how we see it. Yeah. So yeah. Because you know in general, in real life, your actors would, would have walked away. Mm. You know, like, actors are there. They are everything. If you start to shoot with extras and actors are there, they will just walk away. They will say, balls, I'm not acting a film. You know, so ultimately, when you when your actors are there on, on on the location, you have to first finish with actors, give them the star treatment that they that they expect, <laughs> which is they are the first one, they are the they are the uh, probably the last ones to reach the set and the first ones to leave. Them. Generally, you know, so so every every I mean I'm not saying that you 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 uh, you create this culture, this culture is all there. So I was I was wondering your actors are sitting and then you're finishing all your extra shots. And I was looking at the time. I was looking at the discomfort that you know there was around, particularly the way. Well, the actors were also in the shots. We were shooting. Uh, they were in the background. Yeah. The background. I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if if you if you go by the Hollywood, uh, you know, well, it's crisp, clean. I feel sometimes that kind of uh, adds a certain character. In the sense, like if there's a there's a little bit of a error or you know, there's something that you know that makes you feel okay, you are there. I, I also feel for an actor, it's it's always great to perform. You can focus more on the. So I think you should really help the actor to make sure that you get the sound sorted on location, so the actor does not get do the best. If you're outside shooting outside on the main road and the traffic, of course there's no way you can the sound will be difficult because you have no control. You know, a plane might fly over over you, a car might just just honk the horn exactly when the right emotion the actor is talking. So you can't help that, right? Outside you can help it. You have to dub. But when you are in in any place interior. I think you should have that kind of a effort to make sure that you don't end up dubbing.